If you've ever used a complex theme or if you've deployed a heavy plugin, changed a, a complex setting or form, or even had a really extensive uh, nested menu, you've likely encountered the max input vars error at some point within WordPress. Because this is probably the first time you've encountered it, what is it? Um, briefly, WordPress has an established limit on the total number of input variables that can be handled simultaneously by the system. That limit is referred to as max input vars. When you are approaching that limit, you'll get a notification within the dashboard. It's an error message, more or less. And it will say you're approaching the post variable limit imposed by your server configuration. Please increase max input vars directive in php.ne. And again, it's the system's way of saying, hey, you're giving it more information than it can currently handle. And essentially, if you don't change this or, or make an adjustment, things are going to start to break on your site. So where do you start? First thing to do is to check your site health and get a sense for what WordPress is recommending you update these specifications to. So we'll head over to the WordPress dashboard. From here, you'll go to tools on the left-hand side and site health. And when this populates, we're gonna select the info tab. And then you'll see a number of different drop-down options appear. We're looking for server. So within server, the specs that we're interested in are the PHP max input variables and the PHP time limit. Because Niche Twins is currently not approaching either of these thresholds, we're all good and there's no warning message. But if your site is approaching the limit, you're gonna see an error message here. And what's important is that message is gonna make a recommendation to you as to what these variables and specifications should be set to. So right now our max input variables is 10,000. Let's say we were approaching it, it may say we recommend you update that to 30,000. So this is where you're gonna retrieve the recommended update. And then once you have the recommended specs that you should change to, how do you go ahead and do that? So a couple of different ways, but usually the most effective across the board is to update your .user .ini file. You can do this um, through a, different, uh, a number of different approaches. One, you can either sign into cPanel directly, or you can sign into your cPanel through your host provider and go to File Manager. Alternatively, you can download the WP File Manager plugin and access um, and edit your root folder directly there. So. Let's head back over to WordPress. We use the WP file manager, so that's what I'll show here, but the process is the same. And within the WP file manager, you can see we have a file here called .user.ini. If we right click it, first and foremost, I recommend you select download. All that's gonna do is take a copy of the file. If anything goes wrong, you'll have that as a backup that you can put back onto the site if there's an error. So do that first and then head over to code editor. So now we're in the code field. If you head back over to the post here for the user, for the dot user dot any file update, you're going to copy and paste these two lines of code. So you copy, you'll head back over, you'll paste them in and you'll replace that X, 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 X with the number the value that is being recommended from WordPress. You simply hit save, then you'll go back over to the site health page, refresh the page, and this is important, make sure you refresh it, and you should see that the error has now gone away. For some users, and again, not, not to go into the, the weeds here, but for some users, depending on the host that you're using, the this file edit won't work. Um, one of the specs will fail or both of them. And so you're gonna to have to try updating different files. There are two different files that you should try if that's the case for you. One is the .htaccess file. You do the exact same thing that we just described, but there's different lines of code that you need to use for these files. They're not the same. So make sure you copy this code. And again, if, if one of the specifications is working and, and there's no error and the other is throwing an error message, you only need to update the code for the spec that's throwing the error. You don't have to do both if that's the case for you. But for .ht access file, just to show you where that is, you're going to see that here. 
and you'll do the same thing. And I should mention, if for whatever reason you did not see the .user.ini file um, available to you, not a problem. Just go ahead and create a new file, call it .user.ini, and add the code to that file that you've created. If for some reason the .ht access file edit doesn't work, we have another option, which is to update your wp-config.php file. All the same steps apply, but this time you'll use the code set out here. And lastly, if for whatever reason, none of these three file edits result in resolving the problem for you and you're still getting that error code, and this is the case for some hosts, unfortunately, some of them don't allow you to adjust these parameters. Most do, but some do not. So if you've landed in that camp, it's time to contest contact your web host um, customer service line and essentially ask them to adjust these PHP specs for you. Um, and that should solve the problem. If this helped you out. You can help us out by liking, subscribing. It gives us some juice and head over to nichetwins.com for additional blogging tips and resources. Till next time.